afternoon to Sims Workshop. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be reviewing Daughter of Sparta by Clara M. Andrews. And let me just start by saying I'm really mad at myself for not reading this book sooner. Um, <laughs> I mean, I love this. I loved it. It was, <sighs> it was Greek mythology and it was a retelling in a way that I wasn't expecting a retelling. You know, you're following the love story of Daphne and Apollo. But Daphne, she's what you would call a motakis. I hope I'm saying it right. She's grew up a Spartan, but she's not really a Spartan. So they kind of treat her as less than. She's not a servant and she's not part of the lower class. So she's kind of like middle class citizen in this society. So she wants to be a warrior. She wants to be a Spartan fighter. But considering she's not what they would consider a true Spartan, you know, it's tough. It's a very, very tough for her, but she's a very talented fighter, which I thought was super amazing, especially knowing the tale of Daphne myself. Um, I'm not going to recap it here. You can go look it up yourself. I just, I don't want to take time away from reviewing the book. It was so well done. So it's kind of like the annual um, celebration to for the gods, right, to bless their crops and everything so they're having a festival one of the festivals is a competition it's a racing competition her brother is supposed to participate in it he goes missing he doesn't show up girls are not allowed to participate but she does it anyway why because her older brother is married so he can't she's the only one left so she does it to bring honor to the family on her run she is faced with artemis who i love artemis she's one of my favorite Greek goddesses. I mean, she is the reason I wear moon jewelry um, because Cynthia comes from Synthos. So I learned from my mom's Greek friends that Cynthia actually means goddess of the moon. So there, I, I love Artemis. <laughs> she said, don't, don't mess with her. She has her brother, right? Turns her brother into a buck. And it's just like, well, he was being a pervert and spying on me while I was trying to bathe. And he did it twice. She's like, I, she's, her reaction is, he's lucky I let him get away with it the first time. Two? Uh-uh. So she does this in order to blackmail Daphne in order to get her to look for nine things that were stolen from the gods. Now with these nine things stolen, the gods' power is weakening, crops are dying, you know, pretty much apocalypse, right? That's how she relates it to Daphne. So she sends Daphne on this quest. She's just like, well, I don't really have the power because nine things were stolen from the gods. So I can't really turn him back. So if you want him turned back, you're going to have to go find these nine items. Easy, right? She forces her to team up with her twin brother, Apollo. Now you guys know Apollo. He's like a ladies man. If you follow Webtoon, <laughs> you call him Ask Apollo <laughs> um, from Lower Olympus. You know he he's a heartbreaker basically he's a heartbreaker so Daphne is not really keen on working with him their whole dynamic is interesting to unfold because Daphne she's very stoic and he's very I mean he's Apollo but you're getting to see a new side of Apollo um, as his mortality comes forward more you know as he's becoming more mortal right? He's faced with having to come face to face with a lot of the mistakes that he's made. And he's growing, you know, he's developing his morality is becoming more heightened as well. And he's starting to realize like, a lot of the things I've done have made me a really shitty person. And I really don't want to be a shitty person anymore. And he starts caring for Daphne, like genuinely caring for her. And she starts caring for him too, because she sees that this whole experience is changing him for the better. I liked the slow burn romance between the two of them. Because you're seeing both of the characters develop, like I said. And I loved Daphne. Because it's not just Daphne doing her own thing. I mean, she has to face the Minotaur. She has to outwit the Sphinx. 
She has to charm Prometheus in order to get some answers. She has to fight Nyx. She has to fight Ares. She has to fight a lot of gods. And she is just a mortal. Or is she? She's not exactly a demigod, but we're not really sure what she is. And I think that that's really cool that there are questions left unanswered regarding her origins. You know, you get to meet the gods. It was really fun. I loved the way Andrews brought the gods to life, you know, from Hades, Artemis, Apollo, Hera, Zeus, Morpheus. Was it Morpheus? I think it was Morpheus. Um, Hermes, Nyx. You also get to see Arachne, the weaver. Ooh. Um, there was just a lot that made me really giddy and made me really happy while I was reading this because I love Greek mythology and I love the way that Andrews redid a lot of these classic tales to showcase the strength of Daphne and her cleverness and how formidable she is. I mean, it was so well done. And the way that these are all like different tales, you know, the Minotaur, Sphinx, Nyx, Arachne, these are all different myths, but she ties them all together really, really well here. It's fast paced, it's action packed. I mean, I could not put this book down. I absolutely devoured it. I'm so excited to read book two. Book three just came out, Storm of Olympus. And of course, because I have the first two in paperback, I'm going to have to wait until the third one comes out of paperback because I need my bookshelf to have consistency. I just, I do. So, yeah. Honestly, four and a half out of five stars. Phenomenal book. Just phenomenal. Highly recommend it, especially if you love Greek mythology retellings. This is one of my favorites so far. Um, and I love Greek mythology retelling. So it was impressive. Um, once again, four and a half out of five stars. I will include links in the description below on where you can purchase the book if you so desire. And on that note, please don't forget to support me here by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with all your book and friends. You can also become a supporter on any of my social media platforms. Buy me a Kofi, Kofi, or a Patreon. Links to everything will be in the description below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy reading.